I'm Lindsay. I'm Baroness I'm a Halbrink. teacher. I'm and I'm an anti ambassador. ambassador. I got bullied really bad as a child and I hated school and I never finished school because of it. The first thing that you wake up on a morning is the bullying that happened the day before or what's going to happen. feeling that I used to get going to school, it was it, like being on a roller coaster when your belly goes over. It was that feeling. Um, if someone's been bullied, they're not going to put their full effort in, in their learning. They're not going to want to come into school. They're not going to want to engage and that has an impact on school. I was scared at first because I, I didn't I didn't want to tell anyone because obviously the last were a lot older and bigger than me so I didn't know what had happened to me. I was attacked with the glass uh, midway through year nine and and it just, it, it almost felt like that they wanted to take my life away from me and that it almost seemed like that bullying wanted to take my life away from me. It's really upsetting and people are just, it's pointless really. Why do you feel the need to bully someone to the point where they just give up on themselves because you've, they've hurt them that much? It just, it just annoys me so much. I think the anti-bullying ambassadors are really good because they build people's confidence. There were loads and loads of people that were scared to get, tell someone, were telling people. Before we like came along and before it started, like no one would report bullying because they were scared, they were scared that it'd got, it would get worse. And then when the ambassadors started to make more of an appearance around the school, they started to become more confident to tell people. Just giving students someone to talk to is, a, is an absolutely massive thing. I mean, it's like, it's it's not easy to go through, but everyone just needs to know, like, it, it you can get through it, and you just need to be strong. When people look at graffiti, they actually frown upon it. What we wanted to do was, we actually wanted to show the art side of graffiti, not only the art, but actually sending a positive message that was from young people to young people. Some of the students at Appleton Academy made a mural to show that they're taking a stance against bullying. It's not big to make others feel small. Everyone makes mistakes. If you haven't got anything nice to say, keep it zipped. Actions speak louder than words. Talk to me, then you know me. Get what you give, give what you get. Show racism the red card. We have a new something called a mentoring system because bullying happens a lot at our schools or at break or lunch or just in the hallways when you're walking around because kids seem to think they can get away with it but we're saying no to bullying and we're stopping those thoughts. Around the building at social times was very active let's say and um, to the point where there was lots of bickering, falling out, pushing and shoving. She were being bullied more on the way home from school rather than at school. So we met her and talked to her and kind of became a mentor and we walked her home for about a week and then she grew more confident and now we she's talk, got loads of yeah. friends, haven't she? She doesn't have any problem with bullies anymore. We're meant to some people that get bullied and they're meant to some bullies um, and it's like we, we tell them like what's bullying and what's not bullying. We've been trying to raise awareness of bullying because I found one of the biggest problems is people don't know what bullying is. Um, we all like to have a laugh so Banner is important, but sometimes you just cross the line by bullying and you shouldn't do that. Bad to taste, if year eight, know the difference between bullying and banter. A few friends are laughing and joking around, saying things about each other. Is this bullying or banter? Banter! If you be a little someone in front of the crowd and then individuals carry on, is this bullying or banter? Bullying! If they actually thought about what they were doing, the majority of them wouldn't do it in the first place. There were no mechanisms 20 years ago in school to, to actually just challenge young children growing up to think about what they're saying and doing and actually just reflect and I think this is a really good way to do that. We've actually done quite a lot of work around cyber safety, cyber awareness and it's actually led by the students themselves so they're training the young people how to stay safe online. So we as Anti-Bullying Ambassadors have created our own website where anyone can easily report bullying. So on a social media sites such as Facebook it's really easy to report. So we thought we would use this same technology to be able to report bullying. Uh, we do have a lot of kids who, who don't have a positive male role model or a positive female role model in their lives. and. Some of these kids, they just need one positive role model in their life. And if it's a sixth former or a kid in year 10, fantastic. 
I think it's just a really exciting time to be at our school to be honest we're on such a journey in every way and the anti-bullying is just a bigger part of the journey we're on and because it is so much about the ownership for the students they are craving that responsibility and are happy to take it on and they want to be the all through school which is the vision we've had of being one school one set of students and it's not about age it's about we're a family. Absolutely.